Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, my friends. Here we meet again. Uh, this is week nine, and the first lesson is here. So I'm going to share my screen. I hope that you can see it. So I would like to make sure. So I'm going to stop the share and share again. Here, yes. Okay. So we really miss you, and we hope that inshallah everything will be normal. Here, don't forget that we start our session with a spelling game. So I would like you to study spelling study the words and know how to write them. And don't forget that we start our spelling B competition soon, and it will be a great chance for you to study the words. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the booklet. We have writing. So we have today page 14 and 15, and then we continue inshallah tomorrow 16 and 17. So let's see what do we have. We have a passage and you have to read that the heading so that you know what we should do read the paragraph and answer questions one to four so i would like you to pause the video start reading the paragraph and do not read the questions until you finish reading the paragraph and you know that you have numbers and this is these are the numbers of the sentences that we have here and you have questions saying in sentence one in sentence five so let's see I expect that you post the video now. You read the, the, the passage. Let's see the questions here. Question one, which time order word would be best to begin sentence four? So we go back to sentence four, but they say, which time order word? I can't do this unless I, I remember what happened in the beginning. So you have to reread the passage from, sen from the first sentence. So they said that you can easily make a brief flower arrangement. This is number one. That's the topic sentence. This is what the passage is about. Do you remember the topic sen sentence? Yes. This is the most important idea here. We're going to talk about this all the paragraph long. So here in the first one, we use first. I don't have first here. So I, I don't think that... Um, um, and I don't think that yesterday fits here. So first, get several flowers, such as tulips and ro or roses. Your parents might let you pick flowers. So I guess that the best word is next. This is the answer. Because I, I only told you one instruction. Get several flowers, such as tulips or roses. But the other one is an explanation to more details about the first one. Because I didn't add anything. Because if I added anything, third will be a correct answer. Because here I said, please get some flowers. And I explained saying your, your parents might allow you to uh, pick flowers or you can buy them. These are, um, I'm helping you with the first one. Then the, the question number two, which sentence is the best revision of sentence six? So you go to sentence six, read it, and let's see which one can make a summary, can make a revision. So arrange the flowers in a kind of pattern or something, or the shapes and colors look present. So here, I guess that it's J, because it's the same idea in in fewer words. Arrange the flowers and shapes so the colors help, uh, look present. Um, H is so far away to be a, a good sentence, and, and G, it's not complete. And F, I guess that they wrote the, the same exact words. So here we go. Number three, which word would be best to replace put in sentence seven? So you go to sentence seven, you read the whole sentence, put your flowers in a place where everyone can enjoy them. I can use the word he said would be best, best. So that means that other words can, can be correct. But this is the best choice. So it's display. Did you understand this? This is really important, guys. You have the word best. Can be best to replace. So we have other options that can fit. 
So number four, what is the purpose of the paragraph? This is really important. We studied in the beginning of the year that sometimes writers write their stories to amuse us, to make us laugh. They write to um, tell us some information. They write to tell how things can happen. They, they write to tell, to convince us. I would like you to buy this product. But here, after reading this, which one is the answer? Of course, it's how to do something because they tell you steps. This is the end of page 14, and we're now heading to 15. Oh, I like this so much, guys. Uh, spotting mistakes is really interesting and important at the same time. You have to spot the mistake. You have to find it so that you don't do it. Okay? So, so, so that you don't make that mistake. Okay. So I suppose that you're going to pause the video and go on. Let's see how you can do this. I uh, now let's go. I, I expect that you read that. Oh, uh, one. I have an underlined part. There is a mistake, or there, there isn't a mistake. Maybe. So if we have a mistake, what what will it be? You have to read every word individually, every word on its own. Oh, I found it. It's spelling because beautiful has double L. This is very cheating. This is very uh, um, easy to be skipped because you used to read quickly. You have to read carefully, guys. Question two, what type of mistake? Uh, let me read it. Glacier National Park has uh, no mistake. I have no mistakes. Everything is perfect. But number three, there is a mistake that you must know. <clears throat> You'll found lakes. Even if you read this, you find it a bit strange because here I use the wrong verb. You'll find, not you'll found. After models, will, can, may, must, and so on, you have to use the base form of the verb, find. We go on with number four. We go to number four, question. Sentence number four, yellow stones, mountains aren't as high. Yes, there is something wrong here. Aren't miss, miss a, an apostrophe. So where is this here? It's incorrect contraction. Because aren't is the contraction form of are not. The contracted form, I'm sorry. The contracted form. So uh, instead of saying are not, two words, I said aren't one. Now, number five, smaller animals and them roam. And them, this is this is weird. So incorrect, un, incorrect pronoun use. I, I used the wrong pronoun or I used it in a place where I shouldn't use it. And the last one is so easy because I said both parks gives, I can't say gives, give, because both parks. And we studied that uh, the verb should match the object and number. Uh, sorry, the subject and number. As I said, so I can't say I gives or I say he gives. I must say he gives. He, she, it gives. While are you, we, they, or any plural noun like both parks give. Thank you so much for following this and I hope that you enjoy your time. Thank you.